So welcome, I'm glad to have you here. I decided to process a drawing from live view based on the bust of Roman god Hermes. So as you can see, I have shown you how to create a simple scene for drawing. All you need is piece of fabric and of course a plaster head. Originally I thought I would only use pencils B and 2B, but later in the second part I also used pencil 4B. Mainly because the fabric in the background is dark and I wanted to have the parts in the background darker, faster. As you can see at the beginning, I mark outer borders of the bust, so I have enough space to draw everything important in the scene. When I determine the outer boundaries, I gradually insert geometric blocks into them. This process right now is called the blocking phase. It's simple geometric shapes based mainly on straight lines and these lines create an initial form of the drawing. You can see that in this case I don't go too much in detail, mainly because the proportions can still be adjusted and changed. In this phase I also don't focus on drawing the eyes, nose or mouth but rather on the basic direction of the light and determining the basic shapes and values. When I have defined places of light and dark values, I can slowly fill the dark places with some simple tone to be able to define the contrasting areas. I outline the basic framework of the drawing in some places, such as the eyes. This is very dramatic light, where is a large contrast ratio. I perceive the structures of the face as surfaces, which means that I draw light planes and dark planes. I don't think too much about whether it is the eyelid or any other part of the face. I mainly think about where the surface is light and where the area is dark. I indicate the lightness accordingly and the proportions will begin to take shape for me at the same time as I gradually increase the contrast. I darken some parts more intensively to define depth in dark areas. I also follow the basic principles of light and shadow. If the light casts the shadow on the surface, then the edge of the shadow is more intense and darker. I use the eraser to help adjust the proportions so that they fit as close as possible to my subject. It's important when drawing to perceive light and shadow, light surface is not pure white, but also realize that even on the light surface there are shades of darker and lighter. Also even in dark planes there is a variation of shades which as an artist you must know to learn to identify. Another important aspect of drawing is so-called simplification. It basically means that if you look on the object, you need to be able to analyze it correctly and simplify it. This means shapes that seem too complicated at first glance, we try to simplify them and convert into basic form. Later we render into more complex shapes that will create the required level of drawing. The process of drawing that you see is not hyperrealism. This is an academic drawing. 
The goal of this drawing is not to create a hyperrealistic image or resembling a photograph. The goal of this drawing is to try to capture the form of proportions and light dynamics on the object as accurate as possible. Here we moved on the neck and base section. As you can see, I simply rendered the dark parts. I still follow the principles of simplification. I don't try to precisely shade tiny areas, but to depict the basic element of light and shadow with big bold strokes, as well as to specify the shapes and the proportions. A very important element when drawing dark parts is you don't have to focus on any details. The human eye tends to see less detail in dark areas and therefore a drawing that has fewer identifiable parts in dark places looks more natural. We moved on the area of the hair where are essentially only random shapes of light and shadows, which I try to combine into common groups since the light source is from above, the two bright parts are poor in detail. We see the most details in the middle tones, the least in the dark ones. Also, there are a few details in overlit parts. If you are drawing a portrait in the initial phase, never draw details. You simply just indicate something where it roughly belongs. Sometimes it's good to get up from chair, look somewhere else, do something else and then come back so you can check the proportions if they fit as they should. Sometimes the mirror reflection also helps. If you turn your back to the drawing, take a mirror and see how its horizontal reflection looks. So this was the initial phase of the drawing. Since this drawing would be too long for one single video, I decided to divide it into two parts. We went through the first one now, where we worked on the basic forms. In the second part, we will look at the background drawing process and also detailed rendering. So at this moment, I want to thank you for your attention and for the time you spent with me. I believe that it helped you on your artistic journey. If you have any questions, don't forget to text them down in the comments. And if this video was valuable for you, consider subscribing and like it if you have not already. Meanwhile, have a good time and see you in a part two.